Even though all of the driver's seats have been confirmed on the Formula 1 grid for next season, there is another silly season taking place among the team principals. Let's take a detailed look at the latest F1 team principal changes. After a 2022 season that promised so much at the start of the season, the year hardly could have ended much worse for Ferrari boss Mattia Bonotto. The F175 that was built under his leadership had race-winning speed from the start and clear potential for even more pace. Nevertheless, reliability troubles, strategic mishaps, and driver errors plunged the Scuderia 2022 into disarray as it clung onto second place in the championship. As a direct consequence, rumours began to swirl regarding Bonotto's position from mid-season. The news of Bonotto's resignation was made public in late November. Ferrari then reached out to Frederick Vasseur, a former boss at Alfa Romeo. At Hinwheel, Vasseur has handled, in some ways, the aspects that Bonotto did not address at Ferrari. Following his appointment in 2017, when the Sauber team was struggling, Vasseur transformed it into a solid midfield outfit again, particularly under its Alfa guise. Like Bonotto at Ferrari, Vasseur appears well-liked at the Swiss team, and the operational efficiency he has instilled into it is clearly something the Scuderia covets. This year, Alfa also had a number of mechanical problems, some of which were caused by its Ferrari engine. Ferrari CEO Benedetto Vigna said this about Vasseur. Throughout his career, he has successfully combined his technical strengths as a trained engineer with a consistent ability to bring out the best in his drivers and teams. This approach and his leadership are what we need to push Ferrari forward with renewed energy. The appointment of Vasseur has been interpreted as an effort on the part of the Scuderia to preserve positive connections with Charles Leclerc in the hopes of persuading the Monegasque driver to remain with the team. Despite the fact that Leclerc has several years left on his current contract, it will be absolutely essential for Ferrari to demonstrate that they are capable of competing head-to-head -head with other teams, such as Mercedes and Red Bull. The floodgates appear to have been opened for all of the other team principal movement announcements since the news of Vasseur's appointment was made public. Shortly afterwards, Vasseur's replacement was revealed to be McLaren's team leader, Andreas Seidel, who will take Alfa Romeo into the Audi era, which begins in 2026. Although Sauber are now operating as Alfa Romeo, it is anticipated that they will return to running under the company name in 2024 and 2025. This will occur prior to the team merging with Audi in 2026 when the German manufacturer will make its debut in Formula 1. Between the years of 2006 and 2009, Seidel worked as an engineer for the Sauber team while BMW owned it. Seidel said, It is great to join the Sauber group from January. This is a team with a rich history in Formula 1 and an organisation I know really well from my time working and living in Hinwil for four years. I can't wait to join the team and work with all the colleagues at the Sauber Group on the ambitious goals we have set together. I want to thank Finn Rousing and everyone at the Sauber Group for their choice. I am looking forward to repaying their trust with my work." Sauber said Seidel would play a part in choosing a new team principal with an announcement to come into course. In October, the team made the announcement that they would be partnering with Audi for the German company's entrance into Formula 1 in 2026. This will coincide with the same year when new engine regulations would be implemented for the sport. Audi will be responsible for the development of the team's engines at their facility in Germany, while it is anticipated that Sauber will continue to be responsible for the development of the team's chassis in Switzerland. The team's performance in the Constructors' Championship in the just-concluded season, in which they finished sixth, was equal to their highest finish in the championship since 2012, and it was the best performance of their partnership with Alfa Romeo. Now, Andreas Seidel, who has extensive knowledge of the Volkswagen Group from his time spent as the principal of Porsche LMP1 team, has been brought on to try and maintain the success that Vasseur began and to prepare for Audi's collaboration with the team beginning in 2026. However, Seidel will not fill the job of team principal which his predecessor also held. Now will be the best time to like this video by hitting the thumbs up button. After serving as McLaren's team principal for four years, Seidel decided to step down from his position at McLaren. It was under Seidel's watch that Daniel Ricciardo achieved the team's first victory in nine years at the 2021 Italian Grand Prix. McLaren Chief Executive Zach Brown said, I've really enjoyed working with Andreas. He has provided great leadership for the team and has played a significant part in our F1 performance recovery plan and ongoing journey to return to the front of the grid. I thank him for the transparency throughout the process, which gave us time to plan accordingly. Andrea Stella, who was previously serving in the capacity of Executive Director, will take up Seidel's responsibilities at McLaren once he begins his new job at Sauber in January. Since 2015, Stella has been employed by McLaren, first as the Head of Race Operations and then as the Performance Director, and since 2019, she has held the position of Executive Director. Before moving on to McLaren, the Italian engineer, now 51 years old, logged 13 years of experience as a Ferrari performance engineer and race engineer. 
Brown added, Andrea is a highly talented, experienced and respected member of our team with a strong track record of leadership and success in Formula 1. His move into this role is a great example of the strength in depth we have in our team. I'm excited to be working more closely with him with a joint focus on moving up the grid and winning races. Stella said, We are realistic about the amount of work ahead of us to move back up the grid, but I'm excited and encouraged that I'm on this journey together with a full team of talent, experience, racing spirit and dedication. I look forward to working closely with each of them, Lando and Oscar, to achieve great success together and enjoy the journey. In a statement that was released by Williams on Monday, it was revealed that Capito had resigned from his position as team principal and CEO and that FX de Maison had also resigned from his position as technical director. Williams has stated that it will, in due course, reveal who will be taking over as team principal and technical director. Capito said, It has been a huge privilege to lead Williams Racing for the last two seasons and to lay the foundations for the turnaround of this great team. I look forward to watching the team continue on its path to future successes. The chairman of Doralton Capital, Matthew Savage, congratulated Capito for his work at Williams as the team embarked on a major transformation process to begin the journey of reviving Williams racing. Since Capito took over in the role, Williams has made a remarkable comeback, going from being adrift from the midfield to having its first points in two years in Hungary last year, in addition to a podium finish in the rain-shortened Belgian Grand Prix. Savage said, We're grateful that Joss postponed his planned retirement to take on this challenge and will now pass the reins on the next part of this stage process. We would also like to thank FX for his contribution and wish him all the best for his future as he moves on. Following the purchase of the team from the Williams family by Doralton Capital at the end of 2020, former Volkswagen Motorsport boss Capito took over as team principal of Williams. Capito enjoyed the peak of his success in racing while overseeing VW's motorsport division, when it dominated the World Rally Championship before joining McLaren as its CEO in F1. But Capito left after just a few months of working in the role as part of a management reshuffle following the arrival of Zach Brown and the departure of its long-serving chief, Ron Dennis. He then returned to F1 with Williams to take over from Simon Roberts, who had served as acting team principal after Claire Williams left in 2020. Doralton has come to the conclusion that it is time for a change. However, now that someone with Capito's level of experience and expertise has been let go, who can assist Williams in climbing out of its current precarious position? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.